This is a Google Sheets spreadsheet that allows you to analyze your NEC stocks in pretty much any way that you want. And yes, with the method that I'm about to show you, you're going to be able to get automatically all the data that you want to get for stocks listed in the NEC, which is the National Stock Exchange of India. And if you stay until the end of the video, I'm also going to show you how it is that for NEC stocks, you can get financial data, key metrics, growth metrics, dividend data and more automatically at the end of the video you're gonna be able to have your NSC stock monitoring sheet just like this where you're gonna be able to get a lot of information have some graphs and don't worry I'm also gonna teach you how it is that you can customize this to your liking so that you have the best stock monitoring spreadsheet for your particular use case so the first thing to get your stock monitoring sheet going is to get the stock price and for this there's a really great way to get this information for free and this is to use the google finance function which is automatically built into google sheets so there's a dedicated tutorial we have on our channel for this that i'm gonna link in the description but this is how you do it you're gonna enter equals google finance and then it's gonna ask you for the information right here so first it's gonna ask you for the company sticker for this we're gonna reference this cell that already has the company ticker and then it's gonna ask us for an attribute because price is a real-time metric something that changes all the time we're just gonna enter price and we don't have to enter anything else in this case what I'm gonna do is go here and then do F Fn and then F4 on my Mac to be able to lock in this. And now we're gonna be able to get the stock price for this particular stock. And if we double click right here, you're gonna be able to see how you get the stock price for all these different companies, assuming they do have data available. In this case, you can see that there's some companies that don't have data available, that's okay. You can change them. Now, when it comes to what ticker to use, you can just simply Google the name of the company, so Reliance NSC, and then and this shows up and this is going to show you the ticker that you need to use so you need to enter nsc and then use the semicolon and then reliance so as you can see this is something that you can follow for all the different tickers that you're interested in one thing is that the name it's not available as a parameter you can see what parameters are available right here again all of this is going to be linked in the description to show you two more parameters that you can get using the google finance function we're going to get the ep and the PE of this company so again we enter the ticker and now we're gonna get the EPS we lock this in again or you can just simply enter it manually you can just enter it like this as well this is another option that you have and as you can see now we have the EPS double click or drag this down and now you're gonna be able to get the EPS for all the companies that do have the EPS available on Google Finance and now you can perform the same process for the PE so we're gonna select the company we're gonna enter PE click this drag this down and voila now we're gonna be able to get the data of course you can always format this into any format that you want just click for example here this is euros but just so that you see the idea now i'm gonna command z now where it gets a little bit more tricky is when you're accessing historical data and you're trying to plot that information so first i'm gonna show you how this works right here so we're gonna say equals google finance and we are looking to get this year chart that you can see right here so we need to enter the ticker we're gonna enter this ticker and then we're gonna say close that is the historical attribute that we want to get now it's gonna ask us for the start date and the end date so the start date is gonna be today minus 365 days so that way we get the start date being a year before now and then after that the end date is going to be just today and this is going to give us the historical close for this particular ticker that you can see right here now we close the function and as you can see this gives us the date and the close now right now this is formatted as a number but you can of course change the formatting to be a date so you can see how this changes but what i want to show you is then you can take this information so we're gonna do the exact same thing i'm gonna copy paste this formula get out of here go to the top and then the cool thing about google finance is that you can put formulas together so in this case what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna now do the sparkline formula so i'm gonna say sparkline and this is gonna create a sparkline graph of the data 
So as you can see, now I have the year chart. And once you have this for one company, assuming that you set up the formula right, and then once you set up the formula right, in this case, all we need to do is change the ticker. So we're gonna hide this, so that way we can select this ticker. Once you set the formula right, as you can see, we can just apply the formula to all of the different tickers that we have. And guess what? Now we have a really cool visualization that we could take advantage of. Before I show you how it is that you can get financial data like revenue, dividend yield, etc., I want to just end up this part of the Google Finance tutorial by showing you how it is that you can get the market capitalization of a particular company. So in this case, we're going to use the Google Finance function again. We're going to select select our ticker right here and then the attribute that we're going to use is market cap make sure to spell it without any spaces or anything like that or else google can get confused and not give you the result that you're hoping for and then what we can also do to turn this number into millions is to divide this number by a million so as you can see, now we have the information right here. We can double click and now we can get this number for all the different companies that Google Finance has data available for. The rest of the sheet, you can apply just regular Excel formula. So you can see how I'm taking the percent from the 52 week high to the current price. And I'm just using the simple formula right here to be able to get the information. But now what I want to do is show you how it is that you can get data beyond this. Now, full disclaimer this is not a free solution so there's a price for it but it's very affordable and it allows you to do some really cool things so for example we have our list of tickers now in order for this method to work you do need to use the yahoo finance sticker system which is very simple you just enter the ticker and then the extension that ns for the NSC and now we can get some information so for example one of the things that we couldn't get before is the name so in order to do that we're going to select the wise price function it's going to ask for a list of symbols or one symbol and then we're going to enter the parameters so in this case the parameter is going to be the name and just like this as you can see we're going to be able to get all the names of this particular companies but most importantly we can get data that we couldn't get before so for example let's say we want to get the dividend yield and this is a dividend yield based on the current stock price of the company as well as the dividend payments that the company has made so in order to do that we will use the wise function for that it's asking us for the symbol then we're going to enter the parameter so in this case we're going to enter the dividend yield that we want to get and the period in this case to get it in real time is going to be ttm so we enter this information and just like this, we're going to get the number. We're going to put it as a percentage. And now guess what? If I double click this, you can see how the data will automatically load. In this case, there's no information for this particular company, but you can see how we now have the dividend yields of this particular companies. Now, let's say that I want to change it to something a little bit more exact, exciting. So we're going to get the revenue. And in this case, we're going to get it for the year 2022. We can also get it for other years as well so in this case we're going to use the wise function and as you can see the symbol is going to be this we're going to want to get the revenue and then we want to get data for 2022 we're going to enter that as the period and now we can simply drag this down and have the revenue for all these different companies so we could just expand this and now we have the revenue. So Y Sheets is really powerful because it allows you to get all types of financial data from the income statement, key metrics, information, like let's say you wanna get instead of the revenue, you wanna get the return on invested capital. Once you have your formula set up, you just change the parameter. And as you can see, the data will automatically load for you. By the way, if you're interested in this, you can just open the add-on right here. And there's a whole bunch of free templates that you can download you just have to have the add-on once you're in the add-on you can simply navigate to the templates and you can download all of these different templates for free there you go now you can analyze and monitor your nsc stocks in any way that you like and make some really good investment decisions based on that information if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your your investing game to the next level.